Alright, so here's a simple Hall Effect sensor circuit I've made just to test the sensor that I bought with my Arduino. This little black sensor here is the Hall Effect sensor and here's sort of a blown up picture of it. This is just the serial code number for identification on a parts list. But as you can see there's three prongs underneath the sensor. The one on the right is the output, the one in the center is the ground, and the one on the left is the input voltage. So I've set it up so that I'm using the Arduino as a power source using 3.3 volts. That comes in to the white line, goes to the resistor. I put an LED and a piezoelectric buzzer in series just so you have an auditory and visual way of observing when the Hall effects are, Hall effect sensor turns on and off. So you can see that the circuit is not complete right now but when I approach the Hall effect sensor with the north end of a magnet you can see that nothing happens. But when I approach it with the south end of the magnet the buzzer turns on as does the light and it has to get a certain distance away. And at the same time, if I now approach the back end with the south pole of the magnet, nothing happens. But if I flip the magnet, use the north end, this turns on. As you can also see, the magnetic flux field lines from your magnet have to be perpendicular to the plate inside the Hall effect sensor. Because if you go straight down, you can see that that also doesn't turn the Hall effect sensor on. So this is a quick diagram I drew up of how it actually works. In any wire, even the ones running through your house to your computer right now, there's a current flowing, electrons. And when you apply a external magnetic field, in our case B is represented by this pink magnet, you're actually producing a, a force on the electrons in the current which is perpendicular to the field of the magnetic lines and the current lines so it's a 90 degree now if you look down here at the basic schematic of what's going on in the Hall effect sensor pretend this is our plate here and you send a current through it and you get a reading out the end. Now if you apply a perpendicular magnetic field, these dotted lines B, imagine these going into the plate at right angles, you're actually going to produce a force on the current carriers, in this case electrons and electron holes, inside this block, this crystal. So when that happens, you have bending of the pathway of the charge carrier and you get an accumulation of many negative charges on one side of the plate and positive charges on the other side of the plate and so you get a secondary voltage I don't think it's really called the Hall voltage but it's as much it's a smaller voltage but it's a measurable voltage and that measurable voltage is proportional to the strength of the magnetic field so Sensitive Hall effect transistors or sensitive Hall effect devices can be used to measure the magnetic field of even the earth and other electronic devices and it's also used as a switch. I was just reading that it was used in uh, some parts of car manufacturing like clutches and it's also used in some security systems where you put a magnet inside of a windowsill and a Hall effect sensor inside the windowsill as well hook everything up and if somebody opens your window that's broken and the electrical signal either turns on or goes off depending on whether it's a, a Hall effect sensor or a switch that can actually stay on so that's basically it I just actually wanted to use the sensor that I bought six months ago and it's been sitting in a bag